Alrighty guys, today we're going to show you how to put together the Your Zone 4 Cube Organizer. Um, first thing you're going to want to do, get it out of the box. And the second thing you want to do is get rid of all the trash. Okay, with everything out of the box, you're going to want to go ahead and make sure that you do have your screwdriver or driver and a little hammer. Uh, should have grabbed a smaller one, but eh, you know, whatever. And then the directions. Uh, we probably don't need those because it should be pretty self-explanatory. I mean, yeah, it should be pretty self-explanatory, but well, we'll look at it anyway. And you got your parts list, which is pretty simple. Okay, so you're going to take your A, one of your A's, or both of your A's. Yeah, both of your A's, which is going to be these two right here, denoted by the A on both of them. Now, one of these is going to be bottom, and one of these is going to be top. But you're going to take your number two dowels. So what they're calling number two or two. And you're gonna need four of those. And you're gonna put it right into the center of each of these on each side. Pretty simple so far. Okay, now you're gonna take your two C, your C, sorry, just one C. And you're going to do the same thing with it. You're going to put one of the number two dowel on each side. And you're going to take your D. Hmm. And the D looks to be a little different. But they didn't give enough dowels. Nope, they did. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like they gave enough dowels. It looks like we're a few short. Because it says to put two on the one side of the one. That's one, two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Must have dropped a few. Ha ha. Then you're gonna put two on the other side of the other one. And then on this one, it doesn't matter which one of the D's, as long as it's one of the D's, you're gonna put the number three dowels on the other side of one of them. Pretty simple. So far, it is not hard at all. All right, and then you're gonna take one of your A's and you're gonna lay it flat on the ground. The one with the with the two longer dowels, you take that one. And you're gonna put it right into those holes, like so. Then you're gonna take one of your one C, and you're gonna line that up to put your longer dowels into it. Then you're gonna take your other D. You see how that dowel popped up through this hole? That's why they wanted the longer one there. So you're going to line that up with that, making your two small dowels at the top. And then you're going to put an, another A at the top. And then it says to put your B's on the sides. Now, if we let this go, it's going to, it's going to fall. So if we put an A on top, 
that's going to make it more unsturdy, right? So I would think we would want to put the beads for the sides on now, at least one of them. I'm just saying. Sometimes the directions don't quite add up. See, if we put one B on the side, now she doesn't fall. Just saying. Then you're going to take those dowels, line them up with your last A, and then line that B up like so. Take your other B, you're going to get it lined up just the same with all your dowels protruding through. Okay, now she's wobbly. It's okay. We are now ready to add the screws. So we need... Huh. Twelve screws and twelve caps. So ones and sixes. One and... Okay, this, the cap goes over top. Okay. So we're not even going to worry about the cap yet. We're just going to get your 12 screws out. And those are going to go into the holes that don't have dowels in them. So you're going to be your two corners, up and down, and two, and all four corners, and then the middle up and down. Do you need me to turn this so you can see where they're going? I mean, there's holes right here. Now for your first one, you're going to want to secure the other side with your hand. Just to make sure that she doesn't tip over. Alright. I'm just saying. Of course, after that, it really doesn't matter. You can just plug them right in. No problem at all. Now, we got two more to put on that side, so don't think I'm forgetting them because I'm not. I'm just going to secure the top portion of this as well. That way, we can flip her to her side. And not have to worry about her falling apart or coming apart or whatever. Because this bottom one might be a little more difficult to get in because it's so close to the floor. The tool is a little too wide for it. So I got you covered, guys. The tool is way too big to be close, that close to the floor. <clears throat> See how it hangs over so much? That would have been hard if I left it standing up right. You're shining. And then flip her the other way. You don't even really have to hold that tight because it's being held by the screws you've already put in. Right? Now it says to put these caps on, which are number six. I don't know. I mean, unless they go into the head of the screw. And guys, I'm using a 12 volt uh, driver for this. I wouldn't go anything above 12 volt on this because. If you do, you're going to strip the hell out of that head of that screw, and then you're not going to be able to get these caps in. So we went with the 12 volt rigid. Uh, it's only 12 volt what I got, but 
definitely did not want to use the 20 volt on that. So I'm just saying, I mean, there we go. Those caps put right in there into the head of the screw. Now we're going to flip it the other way just because we got more caps to put on. We put 12 screws in, so we got 12 caps to put on. You should be able to follow right along with me, right? Hey, we'll put a link for this product down below in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, I mean, it's simple to put together. Looks like they gave me 13 caps. Did they really give me an extra cap? Oh, wait a minute. It's probably, it might be for something else. Because we're not done yet. Okay. So the next step is going to be Next step, we're going to take our number fours and those are the little nails. It says we need 16 of those. There's going to be two for every corner. I call them tack nails. I don't know what they're supposed to really call them. I mean, they tack things in place. I don't know. So you look at your product right now, as far as together, and you look for any blemishes. If you don't see any blemishes, then it's not really going to matter which one's the front. Okay? And if it doesn't matter which one's the front, then doesn't matter which side you put the nails in. Although if it does matter which one's the front, or if one side's messed up pretty bad, and you don't want that side as your face, then flip it the other way. And we're going to put these to where the uh, letter, the sticker, is on the outside. Not that we have to, because um, we could just take the sticker off. You know, I'm just saying for ease. And then they have these perforated holes. Uh, what you should do is you should just go ahead and stick your nail through them just to clean out that paper. That way you can see what's on the other side of that hole. That way if you're not lined up perfectly, you can get it lined up by checking to make sure that the wood is visible through every one of them holes. Right? I think that makes sense. Or you could just eyeball it and it'll probably be close enough to good enough. I mean, because they, they are pretty thick pieces of wood. I mean, for as small as this nail is. I'm going gently and being careful. I'm just going to tack two corners for now. And then we'll tack the other one too. Just because we, we don't we don't want to go slow throughout the whole thing. We, we don't want this to take 10 minutes, but it, it should only take like, eh, 10 might be good for it. I don't know. I mean, if I was at work, I'd be very upset if it take me 10 minutes to build this. Of course, at work, I wouldn't be talking so much, and I'd be done by now. I'd also be hitting them harder and getting getting everything done faster. It's just... But part of that goes with 
comfort level with the build. And how many times you build something, the more times you build it, the more comfortable you're going to be with it. You don't even have to move for this, guys. You can build this whole thing sitting on your butt. And we didn't push that nail, these nails through the other holes just because we were comfortable with where it goes. We were it helps if you hit the nail, dummy. Mm, I'm missing. No, they gave me an extra nail. Did they really give me an extra nail? They did. They gave me an extra nail. Huh. Oh, that one wasn't quite flush. This one. Alrighty. We got an extra nail. We're just going to set that off to the side just in case we need that later. Uh, let's see. The next one is the anchor to the wall. You guys, it's like two foot tall. I... I I mean, it says it's not designed for as a freestanding unit. And therefore, you should anchor it to the wall. It's two foot tall. Now, if you had little, little ones, okay, anchor it. But she's, my daughter's five years old, so I'm not going to worry about it. She's bigger than it is. She shouldn't be climbing on it. She should know that better than that. She should know way better than to be climbing on it. It's saying it's complete. Uh, the only parts I didn't use is the anchoring it to the wall because that's more for uh, little littles. Little littles. Not five year olds. Unless your five year olds are rambunctious, then you want to anchor it to the wall so that they don't get hurt. Mine wants to sit and be good. Alright, you want to give me those bins so we can put the bins in here for you? Okay, let's go set her up right. Uh, yep. The pegs that we put in over the screw holes, those are on the sides, not the top and bottom, they're on the sides. So, anyway, my daughter picked out this nice, beautiful little unicorn storage bin. So, we are going to put that in there for her. And it is also made by your zone, so awesome. Pull out of plastic, unfold it. The bins are gonna No, we'll put the bins in the ones that don't have the back. Because it's gonna be up against the wall anyway. So it's not gonna matter. Although it will. It's not the right way. No. What do you mean? Hmm? What? It matches the picture. Well, I think that one out. Huh? I think that one out. That one's this one. And the other one she picked out was a beautiful little rainbow. Uh, once these are filled with toys, they'll, they'll stay unfolded better. But for now, they're empty 
so they're not going to stay out very well. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, there she is with Anyway, she's put together with the cubes in there. Looks fantastic. Looks like it'll hold up for a couple, you know, because she's old enough to need something bigger or better or, you know, more age appropriate. Uh, I suppose you probably could stack these, though it's probably not recommended to stack them. Uh, unless you anchor, 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 anchor. Then you might be able to stack them. But pretty easy to put together. Put the links for everything down below in the description. Make sure you check that out if you're looking for a little bit of more storage area for your child's room. Uh, bye! Huh? I'm good.